Hello. So today we'll be talking about how to open an account with this international brokerage company just to trade. Well, that is very easy. All you just need to do is just log into the website just to trade it online. And once you do that, you have this beautiful home page right in front of you and you can get to click on either apply or demo right on top here. But just in case you have um, a language you don't understand that pops up on your screen, you can get a change um, to your preferred language by clicking on this flag like um, icon here. Once you click on that, you get to see um, different languages you can get to pick from. You can get to pick either English, Russian, Polish, you know, Malaysian, Chinese, Spanish, Ukrainian, and um, Italian language. So, for example, you pick English or you select Russian, anyone you like, you just get started. So you have two main options. Once you want to open an account, you can either open a real account by clicking on apply or you can try a demo account, which is like a paper account to just try to see how the the broker is or to see the platforms, right? So once you try to open an account, all you just need to do is just click on the apply button. Once you click on the apply button, you get to see um, a column that pops up right where you get to put in your details where you can get to open an account so you put in your first name your middle name and your last name should you have just two names for example so you can make it just your first name and your last name so let's say for example um my first name is john you put that here and your last name is legend for example so you input your email address as well so let's make it John Legend at gmail.com. So you put in your phone number as well, and you just click on I confirm. Then you get to see three icons here as well, where you get to pick the kind of account you want. Maybe you want the Forex and CFD standard. You can get it, you know, read right here what you like, what you prefer. And if you want to trade stocks, you can get to click on the MT5 Global as well. So let's say, for example, you go with the MT5 Global, right? And um, you confirm everything here is correct. My name is John. My name, my surname is Legend. And my phone number is correct. You've confirmed. You just go to the next step. So whilst you do that, um, the next step enables you to actually continue from, you know, where you stopped. You just need to add your title. For example, you want to be addressed as Mr. or Miss or Mrs. Anyone you like, you click on that. Then your date of birth. So I would like to go with 2000, um, June 8th. So um, country of birth, for example, I'll to go with Cyprus. So here you get a search. You can just um, search for it or you can just scroll, scroll down. You get to see it your country I mean so are you a US citizen or a resident US resident for tax purposes so here if you're not no and here um, your region state for example city you can just pick um, Limassol for example and here you can just pick um, get street 22 so you put in your address this is just like an example you just put in your address and you put your postal code, for example, 0211, and you click on next step. So, but before that, you see, it didn't let me go to the next step because I didn't fill in something here. This is very important. So you should please pay attention to this particular column, right? Because after you've clicked on um, your nationality and um, your country of birth, you need to select one of the reasons below, right? So it's either country does not issue tin which is um tax international you know number tax id number you might call it so i, I can tick this or you can tick um tin it's not required by domestic law or anyone but most preferably you can go with this then you just go to the next step and which is the third step which is um your form of you know investment step so you ask you do you or your relative associate hold or held any public position in the last 12 months if yes you click yes and um, you know you go ahead with the questions here but most times we have to go with no because for me no so how will you credit your um 
your account or debit your account. Most times you can go with all the three. You can go with bank transfer, transfer via payment system, credit card. It's fine. And then your net worth for me, um, I'm not so rich. So I'll just go with this. And um, your annual net income here. I'll go with this. It's fine. And um, which amount in euros do you intend to invest? So I'll go with this, less than 15,000 as well. Or if you want, you can pick any of this. It's all good. It's fine. So please indicate if you have education in the financial sphere. So I can go with no. If you have, yes, then you specify. Then the next, um, employment status, right? So you choose one. For me, I'm still a student. If you are employed, you just click on employed. Then you write your employer's company name, address, and phone number right here. Very easy. So for me, like I said, I'm a student, so I'll click student. So type of income. Don't forget, once, you, once you've um, selected or picked here that um, you're employed, your type of income should either be salary or earnings from investments. But earnings from, from investments or any of this could be if you're retired as well. But for me, I'm a student, right? Um, I'll, I'll go with other. Because I'm a student, so um, how am I going to invest? So I'm going to just write here, savings, which is good. So your regular financial commitments, taxes and utilities. Are you currently holding an investment? For me, no, I'm still a student. Purpose um, of investments. I want to trade for profit and speculation. So duration of expected investments right here. For me, I'm a student. I'm going to invest for long, so five to ten years. Expected frequency of transactions per, he, per year. It depends on you. If you want to trade a lot, I'm a student, like I said, um, I'll really have time. So I'll go with 10 or 50. Expected level of investment risk. Um, I don't want to lose my money. So I'll go with low. Now, do you have a minimum of one year trading experience and more than 10 trades executed on a live or demo account? Yes, I've tried before. So I'll just go with yes, 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 and yes. So then you go to the next step. You see that it's quite easy to go around and open an account. So this last second to the last step is this. Um, trading account information, MT5 Global. The code word is like a secret word that should be known by you alone. So you can, you know, call any time that you want to place a trade or something. So I'll just make my code word um, the name of my cat, which is Betty. So now here I do here by accept and that's it you just come here if you want to subscribe to news and reviews you can click on all this too but for me I'm good I just click on the next step now this next step is actually the final step where you just get to upload your documents so here you can get to upload your you know passport and here your address verification document but for me um I don't have them with me yet or just in case you don't have them with you at the moment you can just scroll down and continue and click on what type of subscriber are you you just get a click on either you you're non-professional or you're professional for me like i said um i tried it before but let me just go with non-professional and you just get to confirm from here that you've read and reviewed the agreement on nice and nasdaq data so from here you just is the account holder or immediate family member who resides in the same household registered as a broker dealer no is the account holder a director, 10% shareholder? No. Um, I do hereby give my approval, of course. For this as well, client declaration, yes. And I do hereby give my approval and express consent to my present client consent, yes. And this place, please pay attention to this place as well. The name you filled in the first page, right? The same way I filled in John um, Legend, right? So, once you remember that that is the same name you fill in the first page, you need to apply that here. You need to fill that same name, the names here. So, I went with John Legend, right? So, sorry. So, I beg your pardon. So, John Legend. Oh, sorry. And that's it. So, once you're done, you just need to click on I agree. But don't forget, you can get to upload your documents here, your passport and your address verification documents. So once you do that, you just click on I agree and you see submit questionnaire. Have you, you know, have you finished filling the questionnaire? Send questionnaire for processing. Yes. Send the questionnaire 
and that's it.